Hello, here is Ryan, and I'm a product manager from QCT, who is responsible for our uh, VMware solution. So for today's session, import AI workloads with NVIDIA AI Enterprise, which is based on QCT's infrastructure. We're gonna to deep dive this industry-leading containerized and desegregated architecture for NVAIE, which is a review edit for NVIDIA AI Enterprise. For today's session, uh, there are three parts i like to share with you. First is about uh, AI uses in enterprise. I will explain the AI and machine learning landscape in enterprise, including AI use cases in different vertical, different function teams, and the pain points they may face. And then the second part is go with the NVAIE solution. QCT designed with desegregated and containerized infrastructure for NVIDIA solution, and you can learn more about why we designed this and the reference architecture in the following session. And the last part is about the performance insights. You will have a very good view about AI inference test, and we will deliver some interesting findings during these parts. And let's start with our session. So for the AI application uses, here are some quick facts we can see here. And first is about the AI market growth. It shows the global AI industry market size is growing with a high growth rate and expect to be worth about uh, $266 billion by 2027. And for the AI uses in enterprise, about 52% uh, executive says that AI tools has boosted productivity and will become a mainstream technology in the near future. And about 84% of uh, global business organizations believe that uh, AI will make a competitive advantage for them. And based on these facts, you can see more and more AI applications used in different verticals. For example, for the healthcare, medical image recognition may use AI training and inference model for the better efficiency. It's also of great help to the doctors who can get help in making decisions and research with AI. And for the automotive, AI are often working as magic. For example, an autonomous car using machine learning and vision to securely making its way through traffic. Besides this, like uh, video surveillance, social media, entertainment, education, and uh, other areas, we can see more and more AI applications show up during these uh, different verticals. And among these verticals, AI also imports different business functions and acts different roles. For example, for the marketing, the chatbot uses and the personalized recommendations to customers may help uh, boost the customer satisfaction. And for sales department, predicting forecast trends and consumer behavior will help improve sales function in general. And for IT operations, automation of a routine process is now possible thanks to uh, artificial intelligence. And not to mention, the HR management and the secure functions and uh, operations also need AI help to have better performance and reduce their efforts. And so now you may have an overview and some understanding about the AI's landscape in uh, enterprise. However, so AI uses become more and more popular. There may face some challenge and the pain points here when we use the AI application. First, we're going to talk about is uh, the complexity in AI. There are the risks for putting all the AI components together and integration with existing infrastructure. On the other hand, training, testing, and inference are the core tasks in developing and running an AI application. 
and typically the training is very resource intensive, and when the cost is prohibitive, these tasks become frustratingly time consuming. Under these conditions, a small change in the data set may result in a very large retraining exercise. And the next we're going on to discuss is about the underutilization of GPU resources. Since for the physical GPU, the GPU resources cannot be divided according to different workloads, and thus it may make the idle resources. And if there's an abundance of underutilized GPU, the AI task may fail, thus this is indeed a big problem. And the third one is about the scalability issue. It could be not affordable when the enterprises wants to use AI application at scale and not to mention the slow deployment and availability for the enterprise-grade AI infrastructure. To address the pain points, NVIDIA, VMware, and QCT deliver an AI solution to develop AI workloads. For NVIDIA, they provide AI tools and frameworks so you can extend your AI application to every enterprise data center, cloud, and age. And for VMware, they provide management and orchestration with their software stack, which supports the AI frameworks from NVIDIA. And for QCT, we provide the accelerated mainstream system, which is the pre-validated hardware spec, ready for your various AI use cases and different scenarios. And here are the offerings yeah, we can offer to you. We can have a look at each component here. So uh, first is about the NVIDIA software suite. They are NVIDIA AI containers and uh, pre-trained models which are ready for the virtualized GPU and to do compute and uh, AI machine learning jobs. For example, we have to prepare the data before we train, right? So uh, the Rapid will be a great tool for formatting and labeling. And once the data is ready, we can move to training and you can train your neural workloads by TensorFlow and a PyTorch. And then we can optimize the neural training model by TensorRT SDK tool. And finally, your model is ready and moved to scale phase, a Triton inference server which can support your CPU and GPU workloads. It's the whole process for streamline the deployment and development of AI and machine learning workloads. And next is for VMware. VMware's FizzFere with Tenzu can run the application on containerized or uh, VM-based infrastructure. It gives you intrinsic security and lifecycle management for your infrastructure, including network service, registry service, storage service, and a VM service. Besides, everything you need for running on a Kubernetes cluster will be enabled by the TKG service. Pull uh, all this together, NVAIE provides you pretty much everything you need to deploy AI infrastructure in yeah, VMware software stack. As for QCT, in this solution, QCT provides different kinds of NVIDIA certified systems, including 2U General Purpose, D53XQ, a 2U4 node high density server, T43C, and a GPU server, D43N, for supporting the NVIDIA AI Enterprise. For now, our validated system could support for VM and Kubernetes infrastructure, and we offer the options for hyper-converged infrastructure and desegregated architecture designed for different purpose. And here we can see some of consideration from our side. To consider what we use for VM and container, VM could solve infra problems by letting organizations uh, get more out of servers and facilitate limited workload portability. 
while containers could solve application problems by improving DevOps, increasing portability, and uh, further improving resource utilization. And for AI uses, there are more and more modern practices and use cases such as uh, CI/CD or DevOps environment need to be built and therefore for the containers uses will be more and more common when we talk about uh, AI use cases. And the following is about the choice of HCI, which is shortened for hyperconverged infrastructure and disaggregated infrastructure. HCI has integrated compute and storage resources into the system, which suits small size deployment for better high availability function, while disaggregated infrastructure tag compute and storage into different parts and can be used for large size deployments. For QCT, since we've developed our solution and have years of experience on hyperconverged infrastructure, so this time we choose to run the solution in disaggregated infrastructure and validate with AI application benchmark tool to evaluate the performance. And you can see here for our solution architecture. In these two nodes design, one is used for compute nodes, which we use our GPU server D43N with NVIDIA A100 GPU. And we have all the compute components here, including uh, vSphere with Tenzu and NVIDIA AI Enterprise, as well as the function like uh, HF proxy and uh, for vCenter server. The other is used for storage node, which we used our uh, D 53x server with cluster storage. And you can also change to other storage server based on your needs. The two nodes are connected by data center network and be used in the disaggregated architecture design. And based on the solution architecture, we will run some performance tests for the AI and machine learning workloads. Considering there are lots of use cases for AI inference at the HPC or AI Innovation Lab, we conduct the AI inference test study, which characterizes the performance of partitioned GPU and test with the MIG technology, which is also an important function in the platform. And during this test, we choose our ResNet50 as our benchmark tool, which runs AI inference with a data set of images and leverage Tensor RT as the framework from AI Enterprise. And we've designed different scenarios based on different vGPU profiles we've used. And you can see here for the scenario one to scenario four, we run with a single container configured with uh, different vGPU profiles. As for scenario five and scenario six, we run with the mixed containers, which are configured with different vGPU profiles. And the performance metric here is query per second. Uh, you can understand it as how many images are expected to be processed per second. And in the test study, we do have some uh, interesting findings. You can see that compared to running the benchmark tool on single container in the scenario 1 to scenario 4, Scenario 5 and Scenario 6 could have better performance, which are used several containers to run the benchmark tool. The reason why for the result here is because the machine learning jobs such as uh, AI inference do not consume all the GPU resources in a single physical GPU. So if you can split the GPU resources for the application, you could have better utilization of the GPU resources instead. And also, we can observe that the finer make partitions can have better performance in AI inference use cases from scenario 5 and scenario 6. And in our uh, study, scenario 6, which is split for a uh, much more GP resource, provides the highest combined throughput for the inference workload here. 
And the other part is uh, when we observe the performance from scenario 3 to scenario 6, you can see that there's no obvious different performance for the same vGPU profiles. So we can learn that the make function goes well. It did separate the vGPU resources and did not interfere with each other. Therefore, the make partitions could uh, provide predictable performance regardless of how the other partitions are used. So, finally, to sum up, let me recap how QCT can benefit you in this uh, AI enterprise solution. First, we provide you a pre-validated hardware platform which is ready for supporting the containerized environment with VMware vSphere with Tianzhu. And next, we provide you options for HCI and disaggregated architecture design just based on your preference and actual use cases. Just like uh, we mentioned before, for the HCI, you may use for the small size deployment, while for the disaggregated infrastructure, you can use for large scale uh, environment uses. Besides, QCT has expertise for different AI use cases among different verticals, including healthcare, manufacturing, and uh, cloud service. For example, for uh, healthcare and life science, QCT has some uh, experience in medical image recognition. And for manufacturing, we are targeting to like a CAD and CAM simulation, as well as automated quality inspection. And as for uh, cloud service, we have some experience in uh, GPU virtualization, which is uh, vGPU resources parts yeah, in our virtualized uh, GPU platform. So we can provide you the best fit hardware configuration just based on your different workloads. And if you do have interest for a QCT solution, you can go to www.qct.io for uh, more information. You can see much more our uh, NVIDIA certified systems and the uh, uh, details backs introduction layer. And here's all for today's session. Thanks for your time today.